Hey, welcome back to the channel, everybody. I'm Ham Radio Dude. Your time is valuable, so today I'm just going to show you three more things discovered wrong with the Zyku X6100, and I want to show these to you in case you're looking to purchase this radio. You could be well informed. So the first thing is the least of your thing, and what that's going to be is if we're on an FFT span of 50K, everything looks good on side to side, but if we bump this up here to 100K, oh, excuse me, one. 100k you could see that all of a sudden we get these weird uh, what almost look like radio signals on each side here almost like rfi and i am currently in a dummy load and these happen whether you are on an antenna a dummy load or don't have an antenna on and it happens throughout the bands so i just wanted to make you aware of that and that's something i don't think was happening until just the last day or two so when i first got the firmware upgrade no problem now, uh, again, the solution is easy. If you just want to go to 50K span or 25K span, you don't have to see that. So that's not too bad. So issue number two appears to be on 60 meters only. At least that's all I've been able to replicate it on. And this has been reported by users with multiple radios, and they see the same thing on each radio as well. With that, it doesn't matter if there's a dummy load in like there is now, if there's an antenna in, or if there's no antenna in, it still occurs. And we're going to start on AM to show you here. Uh, if I go ahead, you can see nothing going on right now on the spectrum. Actually sounds fine too. I'll turn the volume up in a second. But what happens when we turn the preamp on? You can see the whole band just starts to kind of dance with uh, some kind of weird buzz. So that is problem number two, and I'm not sure exactly what that is. So I have tried resetting this thing to factory defaults many times, and that hasn't corrected the issue. I would assume that hopefully it's something in the firmware and not a hardware issue. Let me know below if you know what that issue is and if there's any way to resolve it currently. And then we're going to talk about issue number three. And for this test and example, we need to actually get out another radio. So we're going to get out the ICOM IC705. Now, this has also been reported by multiple users. So what happens is, is when the transmission from the 6100 is done transmitting, you could actually hear the microphone on key. Uh, this Here's an example of what we're talking about. And it doesn't matter the distance. This has been tested from afar as well. And right now I'm keyed up and then I unkey. Anki. So let's just, for fun, see how a Yesu FTDX10 does when it unclicks a microphone to see if this is really even an issue. I've been keying up the microphone on the Yaesu FT-DX10. I know it's a much nicer radio uh, for a few seconds now, and I have not been able to replicate that issue, which would actually lead me to believe that there's probably a problem with the actual microphone on the Zygu itself and releasing it. Now, a couple of interesting things to point out about that last one is that happens on any band, whether it's uh, all the way down to 160 or all the way up to 6 meters. And it happens no matter what microphone you're using, meaning if you're using the internal microphone push to talk or you're using the handy mic that comes with the radio, it occurs. I don't remember that happening with the 5100. However, I will be the first to tell you that I wasn't actively looking for as many issues with the 5105 uh, or the G90 even. So let me know if you've seen that issue with the G90 or the 5105. I suspect it's one of two things. I suspect it's probably something in the programming or coding that uh, it doesn't unrelease immediately, and so we hear that click because it's still continuing to uh, transmit audio after we unclick for milliseconds. But I could be wrong. So I want to know what you think. Do you have these issues, and do you think Zyku will fix these? Until next time, thanks for checking out the channel. And there is a video over here you might like. I'm Ham Radio Dude. Thanks for checking it out. 73.